What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Anthony Joshua, Frank Bruno. Get this. <laughs> Anthony Joshua was told that he has a better chance of winning the Olympics again than beating Tyson Fury. Joshua has been told by legendary former world champion Frank Bruno that he has a better chance suited to win another Olympics run than to fight and beat arch rival or then a fight with arch rival Fury. Frank Bruno has claimed that Anthony Joshua has more chance of winning the Olympics than beating rival Tyson Fury. A fight between Joshua and Fury has been long mooted, but never agreed due to a number of stumbling blocks. Last summer, it appears that the bout was set to finally take place, but the Manchester native was instead ordered to fight Deontay Wilder, and we know what happened with that. And in the meantime, Joshua lost his unified belts to Alexander Usyk in a mandatory defense. Instead, Fury made his homecoming against Dillian White last month and now declared that he is retired from the sport of boxing. And Bruno believes that while Joshua has the opportunity to beat Usyk in their July rematch, that Fury is the best of the three and would do a number on the current champion speaking with IFL TV. And this is what he said. He said, I think he can beat Usyk if he keeps everything together. Joshua's got the power, he's got the speed, and he's got the hunger to want to beat him. But he's a very, very good guy, that Usyk. I watched him beat the other heavyweight, Derek Chisor. He's Ukrainian. He's very good. He's a very good guy. But if Tyson gets it all together, he'll do a number on him. Let me stop right there because it's going into a whole different topic. Does AJ have a better chance at winning the Olympics than beating Tyson Fury? The answer is no. Because I noticed something about Tyson Fury. If Deontay Wilder can hit him being 20 pounds heavier than he normally was in the fourth round and drop Tyson Fury the way he dropped Tyson Fury, I don't think he's untouchable against Anthony Joshua. Why? Because I, I believed that Deontay Wilder was faster than Anthony Joshua while Deontay was about 220, 218, 219, 220. But at 230 or at 238, like he was the night he fought Tyson Fury for the third time, he looked slower. And he looked slower and he got tired quicker. He looked fatigued. He looked weight drained, like not weight drained, but he looked overtrained. So saying all that to say this, right? <clears throat> I think because... Deontay Wilder was able to catch uh, Tyson Fury. I think that Anthony Joshua has a good shot of beating Tyson Fury, and let alone punching him, hitting him. I don't think he's unhittable, and I think the only way you beat Tyson Fury, you got to hit him. Billy and White couldn't hit him. He didn't have the speed to hit him. He didn't have the balance to hit him. Okay, um, but I think Anthony Joshua does. I think the losses that Anthony Joshua endured helped him out a lot. I think it shaped and formed his career. I don't think it crippled him at all. I think it's actually helping him become a better fighter since he started at 19 or 20-something, right? So I don't think that at all. I think Frank Bruno um, has his mind set up, you know, and everybody's titled or entitled to their own opinion. But as far as Tyson Fury goes... And Anthony Joshua, you'll only see how that fight will unravel until they get in the ring. That's what I say, because you'll never know. Because the moment, and this is what happens. <clears throat> People are so hell-bent on protecting a person's O these days that the whole sport of boxing has been surrounded by perception. And the perception is if a guy that's never been beaten hasn't fought the guys that he should have, Usyk, Joshua, and Joshua's been beaten, then he clearly doesn't have a chance against Tyson Fury because Tyson Fury has never been beaten. Failing to realize the fact that he has never fought the guys that beat that guy. And I mean that guy, I mean Anthony Joshua. So if you unravel the onion, you'll find out there's nothing inside. You know? So people saying that Tyson Fury's the best, well, Tyson Fury has to fight the guys that beat Anthony Joshua 
on top of beating the guys that are considered the best, which are the guys that beat Anthony Joshua. That would make more sense to me than to just throw a guy in a position that he really didn't deserve. You fought Deontay Wilder, that was mandated. Just like the article said, that was true. He fought as mandatory. That was mandated. He had to fight Dillian White. He didn't have to. He really didn't have to, but he did. He chose to. But when you beat Dillian White, easy and that easy, and then you say you retire, but then you, you want to be considered the best. Yes, he's considered one of the best, but can you be considered the best? No. You haven't unturned every rock in the heavyweight division. Until you do that, you cannot be considered. You can be considered the champ. Cool. You can be considered one of the best. Cool. But you can't be, can be considered the best until you fight the best. That's it. That's my counterpunch on Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua and Frank Bruno's opinion. Tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys can counterpunch. Peace.